So yeah, I, I've cleaned this area up quite a bit now. I'm looking at this branch here now. I've got a... This part of it I can take off, this vertical part I will, like that. I've got two stubs I can remove here, that one and this one. And then I can take this one back to a downward facing bud and this one back to here. And then I don't know about this one, um, they kind of cross here. Should I just take that whole back one off? Yeah, yeah I should. Okay. I'll do that. I'm going to take it off here. Now I've got to get up here and do a nice cut. I'll take it off roughly first, like that, and then I can come in and clean my, my stump up a little better. Like that. That's a good cut. Now. If you look at that branch, the radial direction coming out of the trunk is kind of out here. I'm kind of getting it cranked over a bit too much. Looks fine in this view, but I definitely don't want it, this part crisscrossing over this branch. So I have a new chute here. I could take it back. And I think I will. It's also getting too long. So I'll leave a bit of a stump here take it off there. So now from this view you can see it looks much better. It has space to grow here and develop more branch structure without, without congested, too much congestion. Vertical one here I can take off. I think this one's got to be pruned back. Yeah, back to there. This one can get pruned back to here. Now back here I've got a lot of branches converging again. I can definitely take this one off to here, and I will. And then there's a vertical one, I can take that off. And then this one, these two crisscross here, I, I could cut this part of it off and I will. Like that. Take this one off. And this one off. Just cleaning that branch up. Okay, that looks yeah, that looks nicer. Um, just cleaning some stubs up here. Now, this branch up here is getting very tall. Can I reduce that back? And do I want to? I think I do. So I'll take. I could reduce it right back to here. That actually flows pretty nicely. I will do that. Here I go. Again, you lose a little ramification, but you gain in other areas. And I'll take the tip off that one. And I, I don't need the upper part, so I'm taking this off too. Behind here I have a branch that divides into three and I can't really see the vertical part of it so I'm taking the vertical one off for sure. That's gone. It's gone somewhere right in here. That comes off and then I think I'm also going to take the other vertical part off and just keep the one branch. It's just getting too tall, too tall on that area. Redirect it, get it flowing outwards more. Um, the one behind is in the same kind of situation. I'll prune the top off, keeping my branch sweeping outwards. 
like that. That really helps. Reduces the height too. And then I've got one here, part of this branch that crosses, and I don't want that at all. So this whole work divides here. I'm going to take the middle one out. Just, you know, I don't need it. It just goes too vertical in that section. Let me uh, rough cut it first, like that, and then I'll come in and clean that up. Like that. Yeah, that's good. Okay, let's see from the front. Yeah, that's looking better. On this side, I've got a branch going towards the inside of the tree. I'll get rid of that. I've got a stump up top here. I can get rid of that. Another dead stump here. I'll take the vertical part of this branch off. Like that. Uh, I'll prune to a outward facing bud there, or a downward facing bud. Um, there's a lot going on with this branch. I've got one that sweeps up vertical here, and I'm trying to see do I want that? No, I don't. It just clutters it up and doesn't look so good. Let's come off. And then. This one comes up, divides into two. I'm thinking I don't want the vertical part here. I'm going to take it off here and then prune this one back to here. Like that. Now, keeping in mind the new shallow umbrella canopy on it. Okay. Um, Branch coming out front here comes up, it kind of divides into three here. It's getting quite tall. I'll take off the vertical part here. Keep it fanning out more. Uh, reduce it to here. Clean this one up. Um, this one kind of crosses the middle. I'll take that out. And, and this one's getting tall. I'm going to take the vertical part out here. There we go. Simplifying that. Taking this one back to here. Like that. That really shortens that front upper structure quite a bit. I would do the same for this branch, but I don't have any buds in this area. So I'll have to wait on that one. Maybe something will emerge in the future. I'll take the vertical part off though. Okay, I got this branch here now. Don't think I want this vertical part. I'm going to take that out. It doesn't really fan outwards nicely. And then the, the branch comes up. It's kind of getting tall, so I need to take it back to here. And, and, here. Maybe there. Okay. There's a branch here. You can see there's, it divides, there's a vertical part and one fanning outward. So I'll take the vertical part off. Like that. So it's fanning out a bit more. Prune this back to a downward facing bud or a more horizontal bud. Take the vertical part off here, which is, I think, dead anyway. Take this vertical one off. And the tip off. A few stubs here I can clean up. That one should be taken back. I've got two good, two good leaves here. I'll take the whole tip off. Like that. That gets it shorter. That's better. Okay, making progress. I think 
it's looking more like a spreading banyan tree. At least to me it is. Okay, um, lots to go still. So I think I'm back, I'm going to deal with this branch back here now. So here's a case where I can prune the top off to a outward facing bud or maybe even a little higher, I don't know. In the front view, this one doesn't fan out, it comes in, so I'm going to take it off. And also this back one here, so I'm taking that off. So there it is now. Um, I'll shorten this one to, actually, I'm going to take this one off. It kind of comes inward, doesn't flow outwards. It's a little awkward with these two here. I could take, and I will, I'll take the upper one off. It'll give me more taper. Like that. That looks much better. Prune this to a downward facing bud. Like that. Clean up a few stubs. There's a vertical part here that converges. It, it grows in. I'm going to get that. Take it right out. Like that. Uh, there's one congesting that area up and this one this one doesn't flow at all I'm taking that one out and then up on the upper part here I'll prune it to a downward facing bud there and maybe that whole upper part has to come off yes it does like that that's coming off Okay. Here, I've got a very vertical part. Uh, it flows okay though. In this case, it might be this one that needs to come out. I think it is. Yeah. In this case, I'm keeping my vertical one. This one, it, it fans out, but it's directly above this other branch. And it just really is very congested in there. So it's coming out. This one's coming right off with the branch pruners right here. That's coming out. It looks better. Okay. Did branch tips there. Bring that back. This one's getting long here. I'll put it back to there. This one. Put it back to here. It was getting growing underneath the other branches here. that one back, fanning it out more. Okay, it's really uh, really changing this tree. It's looking good. I've got, if you look in here, I've got an interesting trunk line going up here, and then I've got a thick one coming up kind of beside it, and it does some really, really strange things, which Ah, it is a nice vertical element there. Think about that one. Here's one that's obvious, a vertical one coming off. Um, this one can be pruned back to here. Stub. Third branch. Don't need that. Um, vertical one. Putting some of these back branches to flatten them out a bit more. 
to general cleanup on some of them. So many decisions. There's so many. Okay, here's one here. It's kind of growing vertical. I've got a more horizontal branch. I think I want to get rid of that vertical part, and yes, I do. So this can come right off here. Like that. Yeah, there's some pretty strange branches growing up the middle. They're going to need sorting out. But, you know, they need to strengthen a bit too. Okay, let's keep going here. Um, bit of pruning at the tips here. Kind of reducing the height of back a bit. And it may come more. And this is coming off here, the top here, this branch right here. Getting that height down a bit. So I kind of like this one coming up the middle, but it's it's very straight. I think I need to prune it back. At least to here, we'll try that. See what develops in that area. Um, this one's going to come off here. Uh, this one, I'm going to take it off here. Bring this back. This one's growing in towards the center. I'll get rid of that. Um, this one's vertical. I'm going to take it out like that. Here's another vertical one here I'll take out. Um, I'm not keen on this one growing back. I'm going to take this part out like that. Getting a little better flow in the crown. Where did that branch go? Oh, here it is over here. Okay. Um, these two converge. I'm going to take this back even further to here. It'll grow. It's a vertical shoot, so it'll definitely grow. It's got light up here. And this one, too, I, um, it's very straight. I need to prune it back also to here. Okay, now, this branch is getting a little heavy up in the upper canopy here. Uh, so if I can lighten that up, I will. And... I think I'll take off this thick part in the middle here, like that. Prune this one back. That helps, it lightens it up a bit. I'm getting a very shallow curvature here, which is, that's okay. Again, you know, reducing the height makes it look wider. So I'm looking at, there's a branch here, uh, I've mentioned this before, it kind of comes forward, at least a lot of it does. Mm, I think it's okay. I can reduce the height of it. Reduce the height back to here. 
bulb off here. Um, just doing a little pruning, reducing the height here. Just cleaning it up a bit here. Take that right out. Not part of it's dead, this branch. This one. So is this part. A bit of dieback in the crown here. Not sure what caused that. It's getting there. It's uh, certainly improving. Oh, there's a long whip at the back here. That's got to come reduce back to here. Like that. This one is too long. Okay, let's, uh, I'm looking at it now, studying it. It is crowded back here. And those are those branches I'm pondering about. There's a branch here that's growing right above the one behind it. And I can come right out that one. It's not needed. I'm going to take this tip off here. It was dead. Anyway. I'm going to take this one off here. Should I? Here. Actually, is that? I think that's dead too. Yep, it was. I've got two branches here. One is in front of the other from the front view. I don't really want both of them. So I need to pick my best one and tough to say, uh, this one is more vertical. Maybe just take this upright section off here like that, that improves it. And then it's not a bad branch in this view front view they're just kind of instead of this they're in front of each other kind of makes it redundant from the front view um, I think I could take out the middle one and I will here I go just doesn't need to be there and it just clutters it up yeah it looks better Thank you.
this one back to here. Stuff I can clean up here. <sighs> it is looking better. It's definitely looking better. It looks wider, more horizontal spreading. Much more attractive, I think, as far as a banyan tree. Now this one may get aerial roots dropping down eventually on it. I'm not against that on this one. Yeah, this is still... Ah, so strange. There's so much attached to it. If I got rid of it, it just would leave the whole top of the tree empty. So, take this top off here. Take this back. And I could do there. It looks good from the front view. It's, I mean, it's not perfect, but what tree is? I, exact, you know, in nature, you get branches exactly like that. And this is part of why clip and grow looks very natural is because you get branches growing in in strange places, and they're not corrected by wiring. You have natural defects which become you know part of the design and part of the realism of the tree is that not everything's perfectly positioned fanning outward with its own space sometimes you get a little congestion and strange looking branches I think I'm getting down to the bare essentials here. This branch out front. I'll take the tip off. There are a lot of branches in this area, but I think that's okay. Okay. I think it's certainly getting there. I think that's a pretty good first round of pruning on this tree. Here is what came off the tree today. Some branches here, a few out front, and a lot of branches over here. So nothing really too, too thick. It was mainly kind of secondary branches. So the tree, I think, is looking much, much better. You can certainly see the flow lines coming outwards from the tree. Yeah, I, I think it's looking really quite nice now. I, I I like the way it spreads out, it fans out, and it's yeah, very uh, ficus-like in structure. I mentioned there are some roots that bother me, and the one is here. Uh, the root behind it flows out nicely. This one kind of crosses it and cuts straight down. It's an aerial root that thickened up, and... I mean, if you leave all these roots, eventually they all blend in and flow together anyway. But it kind of, it also turns and goes underneath this root. It's, I'm just not liking it. It really bothers me. So it's coming off. The root base on a ficus is very important. It's one of the big features of a ficus is the flowing root base. So you can see here how it, it, it it almost flows, but it doesn't quite. It, it's just, it's right above this root, and then instead of flowing outwards in a radial design, it, it just goes in between the other two, and it's just not working for me. So, I'm going to, it'll leave a big scar. You can see I've had other big scars here. It's just something you have to do on ficus to keep those roots sorted. 
because they grow roots like crazy. I mean, look at this one. There's a root here, an aerial root that's formed that's going across this one. If I leave this to thicken, I'm going to be in the same boat. I'll have to remove it someday. So that one I will remove today because it's doesn't flow at all so that one's gonna come right off so off it comes like that this other one here you can see that would be a problem if it thickened up too so I'll take it off now before I get huge scars and I, I like some roots like this one's nice it, it I can uncross those and you, you can't have it you have to have some variation for it to look natural. It can't be, you know, a mathematically perfect root base. So I think that's why I left this on because it wasn't too bad, but it's just not, it's not good and it's bothering me now. So to get that off, I'm going to cut it down below and I'm going to prime pry it. So here I go with the cut. So there's that part. And then the other part, need to get in here and kind of cut away until I release that root from the bottom there so now I can pry it so I need something to pry it with um, something kind of strong I don't want to use my pruners maybe the spoon let's try the spoon technique so there you can see this root how I bent it out of position. Now I can get my pruners in here, I hope, and cut it away with kind of trying to leave the smallest scar possible. So I'll just kind of wedge it out a bit and then I'll come in and cut. Here I go. Oh, the root's very stringy. I don't know. It's not cutting through for some reason. Maybe my pruners are a bit dull. Okay, so that isn't too bad of a, um, a pruning scar. I'm going to clean it up. It's not a huge, huge scar. It's reasonable, I would say. Get in here. Just trying to get the bottom out a bit. There. So I'm coming with the bottom cutter. And there. See, the scar is even smaller now. Coming in here. Like that. So that's cleaned up. Now from the front view, it looks much better. I have a bit of a bulge here, but it's, that'll uh, fix itself, I think. Okay, now, I was saying on the other side, I have, there's a bit of a problem here. These two roots are crossing. They're like cross fingers. I'm not a fan of that. This one flows nicely here. The one underneath doesn't. Ugh. I don't know if I can get that out. This one also comes down vertical. It would be better if it was angled a bit. Uh, however, you know, I've got a nice section here that flows outwards. When I repot it, this could be moved over and maybe this part of the root cut off. It would eliminate the two vertical roots there. The vertical roots here are okay. These ones kind of fan out, but these, this one should be flowing out this direction, not here, so. Uh, I could take that off. I could remove it. It would be an improvement, that's for sure. 
Uh, it's a well-developed root. You can see the thickness of it, the taper. It's, it's a good-looking root. It's just... Uh, I don't know. I think that's something to say for repotting. Uh, a decision for the future. Uh, I'm going around the tree now. I've got a lot of aerial roots forming here. Some of them can be repositioned a bit. So they flow down a bit. I don't know if they'll make it to the soil or not. It's raining out now. Ah. That might be it for today. Um, I've got a lot of roots growing over the edge of the pot here that I need to prune back. Just to clean up the planting a bit. So speaking of rain, I think the next step I'm going to give this another thorough watering and I might clean off some of this moss. I think it's covering up a lot of these roots. So let me uh, let me do that. So this moss, you can see the roots that were under the moss. They're not sort of that gray color. To turn these roots in the trunk, this gray color, they need to be in the sun, kind of sun bleached. So well, it's a good idea to keep the moss away from your trunk so you don't get different color roots near the base versus further up. So in this case you can see that this root is different color and then up here it goes the gray color. Now this will eventually turn that gray color now that it's exposed to sunlight. But So there will be more root work coming on this tree when I repot it, which is always exciting. I don't have to repot it yet. I think it just went in this pot last year. So it will be probably another year before I repot it. It will go all summer now without repotting. All right, I'll clean up here and then we'll step back and have a look at the tree. And uh, yeah, I'll give my two cents worth on it to kind of evaluate the design, the progression, what's happening and maybe discuss what I see in the future for it. I'm stepping back now having a look at the tree and I think it made a lot of progress today. I'm very very happy with the development of the tree. It seems like every time I look at the tree before I pruned it, it I think ah oh, it's the design maybe I didn't do the right thing keeping all these multiple trunks and Maybe I'm not going in the right direction. And then I prune it up and I think, ah, oh, yeah, it is uh, it is coming along nicely. It's going in the right direction. So, yeah, I, I think I still have a few branches up the center to clean up. But I, I think that'll be something for the future. Um, and there's a lot of branches that maybe will still be corrected in the future. But I, I think the basic style and structure is coming along nicely. I think it's looking like a ficus. I'm not disappointed with it at all. This tree started out as a Canadian tire from their nursery center and it was in a, a four inch pot. So it was a very small tree when I initially got it. It was like a, I don't know, it was just sold in their nursery center as a ficus. So I got two of them. Actually, I got three of them. I have the Ficus Sisters, which is two, and I gave one to Hong, and he's still got his, too. His is developed into... Ah, it's quite a small tree still. I'll rotate the tree around so you can see it from all angles. So here I go. So I mentioned the future of this tree. I can see maybe uh, aerial roots someday on it. Uh, not yet. I don't want thick aerial roots, so... That could come. Still more work on the uh, the root base at the back. It's a little chaotic. 
speaking of you know non radial roots these are aerial roots that have thickened up also but it's not horrible at the back either yeah I'm back to the front here I had to make lots of decisions on this tree today and I, I'm quite happy with the decisions I made I think it really improved the tree the overall structure of it it certainly has that graceful flowing outlook and I hope in the future to get more hanging branches or to sweep them up and then down and that that will come um, and I'm looking forward to that to get kind of these branches coming down lower I think it'll really add to the ficus look of the tree so that is all for today I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone.